Good afternoon. This is Lenard with Real Talk. And uh, I'm out in the field today, as you can see. And uh, we're at a phenomenal event. I am so excited to be here. We are at a Toys for Tots at the local Toyota dealership right here in Vallejo, being hosted by none other than the $160 million man. And of course, I'm speaking of arguably the best pitcher in Major League Baseball who grew up right here in Vallejo, attending Vallejo High School. And of course, you know I'm talking about CC Sabathia. We're waiting his arrival. He should be here any moment. But listen, look at all of these toys, y'all. This is just a great event. Uh, some kid somewhere is going to be blessed with one of these toys. I tell you what, Vallejo is showing its heart today, OK? And so we have at least a couple of hundred local Vallejoans that have shown up uh, to bring a toy to give to some needy kid, some kid who wouldn't otherwise have a Christmas this year. And because of this event, and this is an annual event, but because of this event, okay, some kid somewhere is going to have a wonderful Christmas. And not only that, but have the opportunity to meet a Major League Baseball player, the best pitcher in baseball. And so uh, we got a, a great show lined up for you today. We hope to get CC actually as an audience uh, to, uh, to address the audience. He's a local boy who made good. We're all so very proud of him and his family. And he'll be here in just a moment. Hello everyone, this is Lenard here and we're at the... Folks, we have uh, one of the pillars of our community and uh, standing here with me is uh, Mr. Fillmore Graham. Uh, Mr. Graham, you look well today, how you doing? Well, I feel well. Good, good. What brings you down here? You're here at the, uh, at the Toys for Tots an annual event that one of your babies, I heard you call him one of your babies, CC Sabathia, is hosting. And uh, tell me a little bit about what brings you down here today. If I were to speak, I would be redundant because you just said all of what it is. Okay. You said that I was here before for CC. Surely I am for CC. I'm here for actually for Vallejo. Vallejo has a lot to be a proud to be a, a, to be proud of, and I'm hoping that. Uh, I know that he is inspiring other young people to do great things so that Vallejo can be inspired by them. So what I'm doing is this. I'm, the Boys and Girls Club itself, that's our, that's our job, to inspire kids to do well. And when we see someone like CC come back, he has contributed to us, not just, just financial, but actually as a positive person for our young kids to follow. I, I agree with that 100%, Mr. Graham, and it's a pleasure to see you down here and doing so well. And, of course, the uh, founder of the Omega Boys Club, an organization, an institution that birthed uh, one of the greatest athletes in Major League Baseball today. Uh, we all have a lot to be proud of. Hey, here we are with uh, CC Sabathia, uh, a local Vallejo product, local boy makes good. And uh, let me first of all say, man, uh, congratulations. Thank you. And, and welcome home. Definitely, thanks. You know, it feels good to be back. Does it, does it feel like home to you still? Oh, yeah. I'm, you know, this is always going to be home. It always feels good to come home and, and just drive on the streets and, you know, kind of know where you're going. And it, it feels good just to be back and be around my family. Man, that's fantastic. So talk to me a little bit about this event. I think this is the uh, the second year, right, Toys for Tots. Um, uh, what does it mean for you to be able to come back and, and give back to the community in this way? Uh, it means everything to me, you know, to be able to come back and, and uh, you know, do, do some things in Vallejo, um, you know, Toys for Tots and, and uh you know, it just feels good, like I said, to be home and to have the people come out and support. And, you know, it's all for a good cause. You know, it's Christmas time. It's a time of giving and season. And, 
uh, feels good to be able to help some, some kids. Fantastic. You know, I saw a, uh, a familiar face that came through and uh, uh, Fillmore Graham, you know, and he called you uh, one of his one of his babies. And so talk to me a little bit about what it meant to see uh, Fillmore, a former mentor and, of course, founder of the Omega Boys Club. What, is, what does it mean to you to be able to come back and connect with people like that? Uh, it feels good. And, you know, I can honestly stand here and say that without, you know, the Boys Club and without Mr. Graham's guidance, you know, um, I probably wouldn't be standing here. You know, he was... He was always in the club. He was, you know, he was the guy who you had some some talk. To, I mean, you need to talk something out. Something, you know, happened, and he was always a guy to 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 go and and, and uh, you know lean on his shoulder. He's been a been a great mentor and a great friend, you know, throughout my life. That's fantastic. You know, in high school, I understand that you were a three-sport athlete: uh, football, basketball, and, and baseball. And actually, you were recruited uh, to play Division One one football. Was baseball always your uh, first love? I think baseball is always my best sport. You know, I think I, I love to play football and I love to play basketball. Um, baseball came, you know, came a lot easier. So when it came down to make the choice of, you know, going to college or playing baseball, I just kind of, you know, went with baseball because it seemed to come natural to me. Well, hindsight now being 2020, I would say you made the best choice. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> a longer career. Um, you know, not all the physical stuff is football, so uh, I think I definitely made the right choice. So, you know, most kids grow up and they, and they always dream of, if they're a baseball player, to play for the Yankees one day and wear those pinstripes. Uh, when you were young and, and coming up, uh, did you ever think in your wildest dream, did you allow yourself to dream so big was actually come to fruition for you at this point? Um, you know, I, just growing up as a kid, I just always felt like, you know, just just dream about playing in the big leagues. I never thought that it would be, you know, as big as it's gotten. You know, I just always kind of want to play in the big leagues and compete at a high level. And, you know, all the stuff that comes along with it is extra, but I'm definitely loving it. You know, what's, what's fantastic is I sort of did a little bit of a background on you. Uh, you were at one point when you were drafted the youngest player uh, at the time, uh, the year you were drafted. Uh, you were the American League uh, Cy Young winner. You are a three-time All-Star, uh, most innings pitched uh, in the entire major leagues uh, last year. Uh, you know, talk a little bit about your, your work ethic. If you, you know, now that you're not one of the youngest, you're sort of a, a veteran now in your prime time, if you could say anything Thing to young kids who may aspire uh, to one day achieve what you've achieved, what would you what would you tell them? Um, just to have fun, you know. You definitely got to work hard. You got to respect the game. But I always have fun, and you know that's something that you know guys that play with me and you know been on teams of my you know been on teams of mine in the past know that, that I love to play the game. I have fun doing it, and, and you got to respect it. Fantastic. You know, um, when this whole contract negotiation was going on, there were a lot of us uh, hearing rumors and actually hoping that uh, there may be an opportunity for you to play uh, for the Giants. How close did that actually come? Was that uh, at some point a decision that you had to make or was that just a rumor? Uh, it was basically pretty much just a rumor. Uh, oh, you broke my heart. <laughs> no, just, you know, it's pretty much just a rumor. It, it was something that, you know, a lot of people were kicking around me being, a, you know, from from the area and, you know, you know, hopefully trying to come back and play. Um, you know, I, it was a lot of different teams in the, in the, you know, in the process of negotiation. I just felt like I had to make the best choice to win a championship. So, you know, this uh, seven-year contract that you have now, you're still a relatively a very young athlete. Uh, is there any chance uh, at the end of this seven years that uh, you might look uh, to end your career uh, here in California and or, or in the Bay Area with the Giants? Uh, that would be cool. You know, uh, right now I'm just going to focus on these next seven I have in New York and, and, you know, with these great players that I have in that club, I was to try to win a championship. And I think that's, you know, kind of what my decision was based on was put myself in the best situation to, 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 win, a, to win championship. Chips and um, you know I felt like I did that with the, with the guys that we have over there, the Derek Jeters and the, you know Alex Rodriguez and them signing AJ Burnett. I think we got a pretty good chance. Fantastic. Now, one thing that uh, I think is very exciting, and I want to get your response to being uh, a, a, a starter in the new. Yankee Stadium. What is that going to mean on opening day, walking out in those pinstripes and taking the mound uh, on, on that first uh, uh, opening day? What is that going to mean to you? It's going to mean a lot. I can't wait. And, uh, you know, it's against Cleveland, you know, my former team, a lot of friends I have over there. So uh, it should be a fun experience. Fantastic. CC, man, I wish you all the best. And uh, congratulations, man. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thanks.